What's up, motherfuckers? Uh, without further ado, I would like to introduce the cast. Critical Role, Travis Willingham. Ray Liam Talison Jeffy Sam Riga! The only person who can save us all, Matthew Mercer! The ground begins to shake once more, this time heavier and larger. No. <clears throat> you all turn around, and behind you, right in front of Caleb and Jester, the ground explodes, and one of the nearby rocks gets pushed off to the side as you realize the one that you noticed may have been the child. <gasps> as it bites down toward Jester with a 22 to hit. Oh, that hits. I, I think it hits your armor class, yeah. Uh, all right, so you, as it bites into you, you take, let me get all the D10s here. Oh, oh. Don't want to look. Tens across the board. All right. Ooh. Six D10s. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> you take 43 points of piercing damage. Plus. Plus! Nine points of fire damage. As cold as it looks on the, the exterior, there is a burning heat from inside its mouth and body, and immediately just having its open mouth clamp onto you, it's singeing you by proximity. You are also grappled. And while you're grappled, you are restrained. You guys watch as Jester is bit by it and it lifts its head up. And Jester is now her legs peeking and kicking out of its mouth like Audrey at the end of Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> uh, Caleb uh, starts, uh, he had an idea, but he just starts rapidly going through the spells. He knows this, no, this, no, this, no, this, no. He sees his dear little blue friend looking rough and pulls out a cocoon and uh, casts Polymorph and turns her into a, a mammoth. <laughs> Guys, we're getting good at this. 
don't think anyone's gonna die this session. Nothing. All right, so Beauregard, as it shakes you off, kind of like slamming its neck up in the air, you lose your grip and fling. As you do, the head spins around and is gonna attempt to bite you up into the air and does so. Oh. What? Wow, it's kinda cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dope move it just did. It sucks that it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Take 48 points of piercing damage. <gasps> 48? Yes. Oh. Plus nine points of fire damage. Oh. Bugs, man. I right. go limp in its jaws. I am unconscious. You are unconscious. Your, your unconscious body is currently grappled and in its jaws. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no regard. <laughs> Please don't kill me at a live show. <laughs> and then it burrows underground. Someone's gonna die. <laughs> I will take out a bit of fleece, remembering the instructions of, of Caleb, and I will rub it together, and I will cast Phantasmal Force on the creature. Jester there. A Phantasmal Force, all right, what is the save on that? It, intelligence 15. Uh, it actually, it rolled a 17, but it's minus three on that, so that's a... So, 14, what's your spell DC? 15. 15, it just fails. <laughs> All right, I'm going to conjure an image in this beast's uh, mindscape. Uh, I'm going to make it think that Beauregard has wriggled free and is slowly running away, flipping at the bird. And I would like, I, I, I hope it takes a bite at, at, at the fake bow. And drops the And drops bow. the real bow. <laughs> it believes that bow is running yes, away it does. from it. Yes, it does, okay. So will it take a, an attack of opportunity? Uh, yes, it will, and it'll open its jaws and bow will fall. <laughs> That's uh, 15 plus 7, that's 20, what, 22 sure. points of right. goring tusk damage. You take 8 points of fire damage. Fuck it, I'm a mammoth, I don't care. <laughs> and how do you want to do this? Yeah. Make my noise for me. And I'm stopping. <laughs> my trunk is everywhere. So wait, that's at level four. So guiding bolt, that's 7d6. Okay. Twenty points of radiant damage. How do you want to do this? Yeah. <laughs> so from crouch 
crouching down on the ground with my hand raised up, I'm going to say, Traveler, I have so much faith in you right now. You are the most amazing person God I've ever met, and I love you, and please save us all. And I'm going to shoot pink guiding energy out of my hand. As you release your hand, you watch a bright, radiant doorway open right before your hand. And from the center of that horizon, the familiar symbol, you watch energy gather like a sunrise. Then fire off towards the creature. Impact underneath its jaw as it bursts with radiant energy. It burns away. It screams. This high-pitched scream as it rears up. And as the burning radiant energy continues to just cast away pieces of its flesh and its, its, its armor hide, it leaves this smoking stump where its head once was, the body slumping to the ground, no longer alive. As you guys are having this conversation, (laughs) and as you've been keeping your eye out to see if you're being followed, a cloaked figure from the nearby (gasps) shadows from the, the backside of the temple begins to approach you. And that's where we'll end tonight's episode.